Hello friends, so we are going to discuss another application of trigonometry in this session and this is called bearings. Now you might have wondered while uh, you are traveling uh, by an airplane uh, from point A to point B or from one city to another city, in what terms or in what uh, terminologies actually the pilots uh, you know, talk to their uh, guides or let's say people who are there in the air traffic control so there must be a language which is used uh, 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 you know for by these pilots and navigators so that they can uh, direct their spacecraft or let's say their uh, aircraft towards that particular location so usually they talk in terms of bearings and that's what we are going to understand what exactly bearings mean and how do we apply them so bearings uh, is a you know tool by which uh, it, it's a mathematical tool by which uh, we fix location of any given point on a you know on a plane with respect to north direction right so we know that uh, you know we have divided uh, the entire plane into four quadrants and the uh, the positive y direction points towards north usually or in a map also north is towards positive conventional positive y direction and then it's east south and west this is how we have divided uh, uh, the map and now we can uh, locate point p with respect to a north direction by two important uh, values one is called the distance from o to p and second is the bearings now bearings is nothing but the angle made by the line op let's say we are trying to find out the bearings of point p in other words we want to locate where p point p exactly is with respect to this particular north south east west configuration with o being the origin let's say o be the central of center of both the north south and east west east west lines now we want to find out where point p lies then i have to specify with two data points one is the distance from o to p and second is at what angle uh, the line OP is with respect to any of these reference lines. Now in Bering's case, we have taken the reference as the, the line joining any point towards the north direction. Okay. So that's what is there, you know. So hence north direction is the reference. And from that, if you measure the angle made by OP, then that is that will be called the bearings for example in this case if i change the location of point p let's see point p is here so as you can see if i maintain the distance five units as you can see op is five but if i change the location of point p the value of alpha this angle this angle is changing it is 81.47 as of now so as i change in the east direction it becomes 90 direction 90 degrees that means if someone says that the bearing of a particular point is 90 degree or a, a, you know a, a someone's bearing is 90 degree or an aircraft or a ship's bearing is 90 degrees that means it is heading towards east okay and let's say if i change the position of p to merge with this direction then alpha is 180 degrees so 180 degrees bearing means someone is heading towards south and now you can figure out that towards west will be 270 degrees and someone who's heading towards north then we can see say that the bearing of that particular point or object is zero right so zero and then increases to 90 degree 90 so hence we measure as i told you measure the bearings from positive x positive north direction right this is a north direction there's no positive negative in north so positive y direction so from north if you find out the position the angle between the line joining the origin and the north and origin and the point p uh, origin could be anywhere it could be one city one location any anywhere in the map right and this is that so you draw a vertically upward direction that is north direction and from that you join the point of which you want to find out the boiling uh, bearing sorry so hence the the angle made by this north line and the line op will be the bearing of point p okay so as you can see right now the bearing of point p is 56.31 degrees actually bearings are represented in three digits so bearings are represented in three digits so for example here bearing of point p with respect to o is 056 so we usually ignore the decimal part so 056 will be the bearing here 
Now, interestingly, you can find out bearing of O with respect to P as well. So let's try to find that out. Uh, now you can also see if bearing of point P with respect to O is 56 or 056 in uh, the way we usually uh, write bearing is three digit. One is so three digits before the decimal is considered to be the bearing. So 056 for this and uh, for O with respect to P. So if you want to find out O's bearing with respect to P, it's nothing but it is 236 here. Can you see that? So the line, let's say now P is the origin and this a P A represents the north direction. So from this direction, P O is making 236.31 degrees. So you can you know see it as I'm moving the point P, the bearing of O with respect to P also changes. So here, if you see, bearing of P with respect to O is 327. But bearing of O with respect to P is 147. Can you see that? So this is what bearing is all about. So bearing is nothing but uh, the angle made by the, the line joining the origin with that point from the north direction, right? So here also you can see then the angle is taken from north direction only. So here 214 is the bearing of O with respect to P and 34 or rather 034 is the bearing of P with respect to O. Now, if you, you can change the uh, radius also, let's say point P is somewhere here or here, but then um, if you specify the uh, bearing, you know in which direction the particular object is. So bearing is nothing but a tool to ascertain this the direction of any particular object with respect to any other point or location, right? So that's what is used extensively in navigation, in uh, aircraft uh, or air traffic and, uh, you know, uh, while ships move on uh, oceans and things like that. So bearing are important there. So in the next session, we'll take up a few questions related to bearings and try and understand how bearings are applied. Thank you.